November, your prefrontal cortex is offline. Your executive function has left the chat and your cortisol levels could power ESCOM if they could be harvested. If you're already running on fumes and the festive season hasn't even started, this one's for you. Today, I'm giving you the Daily Functional Human's Guide to Surviving November and December with science-based strategies tested by desperation. Let's assess your brain's current status. Prefrontal cortex, offline. Executive function has left the chat. Hippocampus, I forgot what I'm supposed to remember. Amygdala, everything's a threat, including tinsel. Dopamine, new phone, who is? Serotonin, missing, presumed dead. Cortisol, could power ESCOM if harvested. What does this technical assessment actually mean? If your prefrontal cortex is offline, you can't des decide what to have for breakfast. That's your prefrontal cortex on strike. Executive function, missing in action. Overwhelmed by simple tasks. Executive function has abandoned ship. Hippocampus buffering, forgot why you walked into the room. Again, hippocampus is buffering. Amygdala hijacked, crying because the shop is out of your coffee brand. Amygdala hijack. Dopamine disconnected, losing interest in things you usually enjoy. Blame the dopamine dropped. Serotonin vanished, feeling down and irritable. Serotonin's gone AWOL. Cortisol overload, everything feels threatening, including November, December beetles. That's just November and so here are the survival strategies, backed by science, tested by desperation. Strategy 1. The good enough protocol. The science? Perfectionism activates the interior cingulate cortex, increasing anxiety and depleting cognitive resources you don't have. The application? Store-bought cookies are homemade. You made the decision to buy them at home. Gifts in bag, bags instead of wrapping equals environmental consciousness. Same outfit to every event equals secretive style. Cereal for dinner equals deconstructed grain bowl. Survival mantra, done is better than good. Existing is better than done. Strategy 2. The paper plate phenomenon. The science. Decision fatigue is real. Every choice depletes glucose in the brain. By December, you're making approximately 35,000 decisions per day. The solution? Remove all unnecessary decisions. Paper plates. Saving the environment by saving your sanity. One gift for everyone? It's called a theme. Same meal, meal plan every week? Consistency is soothing. No to everything? It's a complete sentence. Executive function hack. If it requires more than two steps, it's not happening. Strategy 3. The strategic collapse method. The science? Your body needs 7 to 9 hours of sleep. Your November reality? 4 hours plus anxiety scrolling. The no November sleep protocol? Accept that normal sleep isn't happening. Embrace the afternoon car nap. Set an alarm. Practice horizontal meditation. Lying down with your eyes closed counts. Night panic? Name five things you're grateful you don't have to do tomorrow. Pro tip? Insomnia at 3 a.m.? Don't check work emails. That's feeding the gremlins. Strategy 4. The Minimalist Mindfulness Approach. The science? Traditional mindfulness requires attention. You have none. We adapt. 30 second mindfulness for the desperate. Breathe in for 4.
counting is optional. Hold for whatever, out for something. Realize you're still alive. That's it, you're done, gold star. ADHD friendly version. A version. Mindfulness can be noticing you're mindlessly scrolling. Awareness counts, even if you don't stop. Survival strategy scripts for family gatherings. The how are you response. Surviving November, you? Redirects immediately, no elaboration required. What are your plans for next year? Response, Take it, taking it one day at a time. Sounds philosophical, means nothing. You look tired. Response, it's my November aesthetic. Own it, make it fashion. Can you help with? Response, I'd love to, but I can't commit right now. No explanation, walk away into courses. ADHD November hacks. Set 47 alarms. You'll notice one of them. Buy five of the same gift. Bulk shopping equals efficiency. Forget the list. They just kill paper now. Hyper focus on wrapping one gift beautifully. The rest get bags. Autism November adaptations. Bring your own food everywhere. Dietary preferences equal self-care. Arrive late, leave early. It's strategic, not rude. Hide in the bathroom when needed. They have locks for a reason. Sorry, I have plans. Plans can be sitting alone in silence. Emergency protocols when you're about to lose it. The parking lot protocol. Go to your car. Scream with windows up. Play one angry song loud. Eat your emergency chocolate. Print return when ready or don't. The bathroom reset. Splash cold water on your wrists. Take three breaths. Make faces in the mirror. Remind yourself this ends. Re-enter the chaos. And the Irish goodbye method. Just leave. No explanations, no goodbyes. Text later. Had to run. Thanks. No. Biological hacks. Protein at every meal stabilizes blood sugar, which stabilizes mood. Even if it's peanut butter on toast. Built on counts. So does cheese. Daylight exposure regulates circadian rhythm. Stand outside for two minutes. Even if you're in pajamas. Neighbors have seen worse. Movement doesn't have to be exercise. Dancing while making coffee, aggressive cleaning, running from responsibilities. Hydration. Your brain is 75% water. Coffee doesn't count. Wine definitely doesn't count. Add lemon. Pretend it's spa water. Your permission slip. Here's your permission slip. Cut out and keep. Permission to not send cards this year. Permission to buy all gifts from one shop. Permission to skip the work party. Permission to serve takeout on real plates. Permission to say no without explaining. Permission to hide when needed. Permission to cry in Woolworths. Permission to wear the same outfit repeatedly. Permission to leave early. Permission to not feel festive. Signed, a mental health professional who also can't even. Final truths and encouragement. The final truth is you're not failing, you're human. Remember, your nervous system wasn't designed for November, December in 2025. Load shedding isn't in the DSM-5, but maybe should be. Everyone else is also pretending to cope. Paper plates are a form of self-care. January exists and it's coming eventually. You've survived every November so far. This one won't be the exception.